So we're going to work out a length um, using three-dimensional Pythagoras in this cuboid. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is identify a G, which is from one corner to the far other. And we'll make it part of a right angle triangle, which we'll call ACG. So we'll just get that as a 2D shape to make it very clear. And we'll label the vertices so we can match the length as well. So A, C is your right angle, and there's G. Now we already know GC is 5 centimeters high, but we don't know A to C. So we're going to use a different right angle triangle to work out AC. And that is a right angle triangle with ABC, which is the red triangle. So we'll just draw a 2D version of that as well. And then we'll use the AC from this triangle in the red one to the blue triangle where we should be able to work out AG. So in our red triangle, we've got vertices A to C and B is your right angle. So you've got eight centimeter A to B and six centimeter C to B. So Pythagoras is fair one. You get A squared plus six squared, which is the square root of 100, which is 10. So we've now worked out that A to C is 10 centimeters. So we can use the same Pythagoras' idea now, Pythagoras' idea, to work out 10 squared plus five squared, which is the square root of 125. And that means length A to G is 11.18 centimeters. Now we're going to work out the angle between A to G and A, B, C, D. Again, we'll use the other 2D drawing for the triangle we've already drawn. Now it's important to, when we work out an angle using trigonometry, we label our sides. So you've got the opposite, which is opposite the angle, adjacent, and we've got so ka toa. Now we could use any lengths, but I'm going to use the integer lengths, which are 5 and 10. So it's tan theta equals the opposite, which is 5, over the adjacent, which is 10. So tan theta, if we do the arc tan of both sides, we can work out that theta equals the arc tan of simplifying that fraction one half. So theta comes out as 26.56 degrees.